Hello, what do you get when you smush together in one video your top 5 performing videos? Well, you get the ultimate once in a lifetime 5 techniques in one set video. Welcome to my 200th video. I can't believe I filmed and edited 200 videos. My YouTube journey definitely has had its ups and downs, but I find it so rewarding to read all your comments on my videos. It's heartwarming and encouraging, so please don't ever stop. So for my 200th video, I wanted to combine my top five most view videos into one and create a five technique in one set video. And first up, for my pinky, I'm creating a sculpted clear nail so as later on I can paint it with with a translucent gel polish and recreate my jelly nails video. This original video is linked up in the cards for you to watch whenever you're ready. Next up is my unicorn nail video. I'm recreating this on my ring finger but as a base I will have the milk bar. To create a successful unicorn nail you need to build up the acrylic enough to be able to carve into it some unicorn grooves which I will do later on in the video. Following the unicorn nail, I'm going to do an actual milk bath nail and you can watch the original video up here in the cards. So I lay down a layer of milky white acrylic as a base. Then into the wet layer I'm going to press some fresh flowers which I scavenged for in my garden. When they're firmed up into the acrylic and uh, are not moving, I then finish off the cuticle area with some more milky white acrylic and feather it down over the flowers and in between them as well. When I'm happy with that, I'm just going to use some clear acrylic to encapsulate the part where the flowers are to make sure when it comes time for filing, I don't file them away. The next nail in line is the Sharpie nail. The original video was a Sharpie flower design, but for today's video, I wanted to attempt the Sharpie marble nail design. And at this point of the application, I need to just lay down a layer of milky white acrylic and leave it at that. Later, I will be drawing the Sharpie design onto it. And last but not least is the spider gel design. But for the base of this nail, I'm actually doing a milk bath base as well, just to make the whole design cohesive and try and make it all those different techniques work into one set. So again, I'm pressing flowers into the milky white acrylic and encapsulating them to seal them in. And later down the track, I will do the spider gel design on this nail. Before I sculpted these nails, I actually painted my natural nails with a layer of freedom liquid. What this will do is it will allow me to pop these nails off later down the track and work freely on the design at a much better angle. And you'll be able to see what I mean here as I've popped these nails off to carve out the unicorn horn nail. It's a lot easier when it's off my hand and in front of me rather than twisting my hand trying to get the right angle. So what I've done, I've sketched out the grooves where I want them placed and now I'm going back with my e-file and this little drill bit which I'll link in the description box if you want to purchase one of these as well. I have my e-file set on high and I slowly trace over with the drill bit on those lines which I drew previously. This is carving out those grooves. Once I've done the entire nail, I then use a block buff to buff in between those lines to remove any fraying bits and then I top coat this nail and then this nail is complete. All it needs is a little bit of bling which I will add at the end. And next up I am finishing off my jelly nail. I'm using Jelly Fit Australia double C01 and I just paint one coat over that clear based nail and that's a jelly nail. That's all it is. It's just translucent gel polish or regular polish. Now I'm working on the Sharpie nail and I'm creating a marbled look. So I've drawn some black Sharpie onto the nail and then I'm diluting it with a brush and some acetone. I'm just patting at the line with some acetone and I allow the ink to disperse. Then I keep patting at it and removing parts which I don't want. This helps to make some sections of this Sharpie translucent and look more like a marble nail. This Sharpie marble nail look is so easy to do because if you end up patting away at the line too much with some acetone then you can always draw back another line and start from the beginning or if you don't like it you can wipe it off, scratch it completely and start again. So I end up perfecting it how I want it to look. I top coat it and cure it and while that's curing I decided I wanted to do the same thing on the jelly nail. So I've matted the nail because this works best on matte nails and I've started diluting the black sharpie. When I'm happy with that I top coat that as well because I want to go back and add some green sharpie to this look. 
so the the white nail has cured I've buffed the surface matte again and now I am just adding and diluting some green sharpie I'm working it up until I feel it looks just about right and then I will top coat it again and cure it for another minute. I'm doing exactly the same thing to this green nail but because the base is green the green part of the marble doesn't show up as much. That doesn't bother me it just gives the uh, jelly part a little bit of a different dimension. And now for the spider gel nail section of this tutorial. I am just using some white spider gel and keeping it really simple just adding strings of spider gel to the tips and the cuticles of both the thumbnail and the middle finger. When I've cured that in my light I top coat it cure it again and then I thought it just needed a little bit of color so I'm dry brushing some green jelly polish over that. When all my design work is done I top coat all the nails, cure the ones which don't need any crystals and press into the wet top coat some crystals on the I think it's the ring finger and the pointer finger and cure those and then these nails will be ready. I'm just sticking them on my nails and they'll be ready for reveal soon. And here's the completed look for the 200th time. This is five videos into one, five techniques into one. Let me know what you think of this video down below in the comments. I actually don't mind it. I know it doesn't look 100% cohesive, but it's kind of hard when you're doing five different techniques into one. I hope you enjoyed this video, my lovelies. If you did, be sure to leave me a like. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I also want to give you a huge thank you for all your support. I really do appreciate it. And here's to another 200 videos together. Thank you so very much for watching. I will catch you all in my next video. Bye.